Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So uh, today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different, uh, something really unique and cool, but figured we wanted to go ahead and do a video on it. And we're actually going to be dipping a mouse head, okay? So not this little bitty head that's like that big that's on an actual mouse, but we're doing a DJ mask. And so uh, we've done these before for a customer of ours. Um, they turned out really awesome, and so we figured we'd shoot a video on it because it is definitely something very unique. They, uh, they actually build them out of fiberglass, and then we dip them in carbon fiber, and they're supposed to look more like a, uh, I believe it's a dead maw, dead, dead mouth, dead, something like that. Anyways, um, you can look them up on YouTube and uh, Google. I'm sure you find them uh, a ton of video and post about them, but anyways, um, what we've got right here is we've got the um, the helmet that we're going to be doing on um, in the carbon fiber and so of course we've already uh, painted this with our uh, dark charcoal metallic and what we've got here is we've got half of it taped off uh, only because we're going to be actually dipping this side right through here and then that way we cover up this whole front section right here and then well, if you look here, you can actually see that we've got slits right here and right here. And so this is actually where the ears are going to set. And so we figured this is going to be probably the best uh, place to put a line across. So then that way it kind of helps hide it with the ears sitting right there. So whenever we go to dip it again, we'll dip it from the back side up. And then we'll have a two dips all the way around the entire thing. And it'll look really good. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get the film laid in the water, get this all laid out. And so again, on something like this, we're just gonna take this, set it right there, come across right here. So we're probably going to need about this much film right through there. And then as far as coming up from the top here, we'll come up like that. And so essentially, all we'll need is, is probably about half of this and halfway down. So. We'll go ahead and get this cut all the way across right here. And then we'll come down right there. And now we'll get this laid in the water and get started. So stay tuned. All right, so now that we got it on the water, we got a little bit of a bubble right here. We'll just blow that out and we're ready to go. So we'll pull our dividers in, drop them down as close as we can so then that way we get a nice tight pattern and that way whenever we spray our activator of course we won't get anything to really stretch out and uh, make it not proportional whenever we go to dip the actual carbon fiber. So again um, on a film like this, we've got 60 seconds on the water, normally around 80 to 90 degrees is where you want to be at. And then of course we're spraying our liquid concepts activator, so we just want one good pass all the way across the entire thing. Depending on your gun, you may need to. Uh, the main thing is you definitely want to get it nice and glossy and smooth, and so then that way it's fully glassed out, ready to go. So there's 60 seconds on the water. All right. All right, so with this right here, it's not gonna be anything uh, spectacular. It's mainly just um, just rolling it in, just like this, all the way through. We are gonna trap a little bit of air, probably in these areas right here, but that's not gonna be a big deal. We can come back in and touch them up. And so, we're gonna start right here, about like this. And just slowly go into the water with it. until we get down past our tape. And then once we have that like that, we'll move this around a little bit just to kind of break up some of that pattern and then bring it back out. And there you go. That is the first dip of the carbon fiber that we're gonna have. And so now we're gonna go ahead, um, we're gonna rinse this, tape up this other side that we just dipped and then come back in and uh, dip it again 
and then we'll be good to go. So we'll go ahead and throw this in the rinse station and get it started. So I think this first part came out really good. We got very nice lines all the way through, so we'll get started on rinsing. Okay, so now it's time for the ears. So what we've got is, is again, just like we did on our uh, the top part of the head, we've got the ears that we've got right here. And so essentially we've just got a, uh, a line going all the way across half of these ears because we are gonna do a front and a back. And so in this case, what we're gonna do is, is I've got it held on by the bottom down here for where they actually attach it underneath it at. And so what we've got is just essentially just a simple uh, little clamp that you can get from Home Depot or anything like that. But it's going to make it very nice because I can hold it like this or like that. And then because this is actually going to um, be dipped into the water and it does float, that's something to remember. So that way I can hold my hand right here and be able to push it down very nice and slow and easy. And then that way I don't have any any uh, areas that are going to bobble like this and my lines are going to go off sideways or anything like that. So. Um, the other thing is that the film is wanting to uh, kind of wrinkle up, uh, not really wrinkle, but roll up just a little bit. And so a couple of things that we can do to help this is we're just going to lay down tape just on two sides. Now, you can do it on four sides if you don't have a very good divider system, but normally the two sides will work just fine. And so mainly all we're going to do is just take and cut these edges all the way around so then that way we have a nice square and then once we have this square piece right here we can pull this up and then we'll slide this over like that and then now we have a very nice edge that we can grab a hold of and it keeps a nice straight edge all the way around so if you do have some film that's rolling up because it's really humid outside or something like that that's definitely one of the easier ways to handle the film and make it a lot easier to put it in the water so again, on something like this, we're just gonna lay it corner to corner and then lay it down just like so, and then start our timer for the 60 seconds. So we'll pull our dividers back down, pull them in, and then try to get this as tight as we can so then that way we don't have any stretch or anything like that whenever we go to dip the part. And so again, on something like this, whenever I'm dipping, I wanna start either at this top corner or this bottom part towards me, and then just slowly and easily go down pretty much at about a 45 degree angle to where we're going forward, and we're going down at about the same, uh, the same rate. And then after that, uh, once we dip it, then we'll pull it back out, we'll rinse it with the other parts, and then once we rinse all of them, we'll retape them, and then do the same thing over on the second time, and we'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna grab some gloves and get started. All right, so 60 seconds on the water. Uh, right now we're running at about 80 degrees. Anywhere between 80 to 90 is perfectly fine. And so we're gonna go ahead and start laying the activator down. All right. Everything looks really good. Looks like we've got a nice glass all the way around the entire part, uh, or the film, I'm sorry. And so now we're gonna go ahead and just start like this right here. And I've got everything ready to go as far as being able to push. And then I'm just gonna keep it at this nice angle like this, going all the way down into the water with it. All right. So now that we've got that dipped, you can kind of see we've got a very good dip all the way around. And again, we'll go ahead, put this in the rinse station, we'll dip it, or we'll rinse it, and then clear it. Ah, hold on, let me try this again. We'll throw it in the rinse station, get it all rinsed off, uh, tape it up again, hit these uh, outer edges with some tape, cover this portion up that we just dipped, and then dip it again on the other side, so that way we have a very nice, smooth surface all the way around and we're gonna be dipping this side, and then whenever we're finished with that, then we'll be ready for clear coat, and customers definitely going to love it, so stay tuned.
Okay, so now that we got everything all dipped, we've went ahead and we have re-dipped it again. Now, one thing that we did do is, is of course, we sprayed our um, binder on top of the first dip on the head and on both of the ears. And so whenever we did that, we let it dry, we let it flash off, and then come back in tape it up again, dip the other side just like what we did before in the previous videos here. And then now, as you can see, we have a very custom one-off mouse head. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. I know we always do. Um, hopefully this will give you a good idea on how to do uh, double dips as well as anything that might be big and round just like that mouse head was or even something that has to be uh, flat but it has to have a dip on both sides. So um, definitely if you haven't already subscribe to us. We'd love to have you subscribe. Watch our uh, weekly tips and tricks videos and um, uh, we'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions or comments definitely leave them below and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions or concerns that you've got so i'm brian from liquid concepts and we're making hydrographics great again see you guys next time